What's going on everyone? This is Carl the Solution. This is the Solution to Fitness and today I'll be reviewing the ZOA Energy Drink by The Rock. Newcomers to the channel who do not know, I am a huge Rock fan. I've been following The Rock since 1997, back in the WWF days. He pretty much became an idol to me after that. He's one of the reasons that I started lifting. Uh, he inspired my shoulder tat. I even did a review of his alarm clock app that came out a couple years ago. Remember that? Anyways, I decided to put my Rock shirt on and be one of the first to grab these energy drinks and give my honest thoughts on it, putting my fanboy feelings aside. So I will include this in my supplement review playlist. In that playlist, I usually give scores on the products I review, but since this drink is more in the category of drinks that include uh, Red Bull Energy and Monster Energy, those are things I don't really use too often, so I don't think it's really fair to give it a score. So I'm just going to give my experience on it, well share my experience on it, and give my thoughts on it. Also if you're new here, check out my home gym equipment review playlist, I'll link that up on the top of the screen as well. I review products from Titan Fitness, Powertech, Fitness Gear, so if you're into that, please do me and yourself a favor and help support the channel by benching that subscribe button, squatting that like button to help out with the YouTube algorithm, more eyes on the channel, and punch out that notification bell to be notified of future uploads such as this or such as those. And sorry for the long intro, but with all that being said, let's get right into the review of the ZOA Energy Drink by The Rock. What are the claims of ZOA Energy? I'm going to start by reading this card that they sent me. Uh, to our fellow everyday warrior, we are so excited for you to be among the first to try ZOA. We all need more healthy support and energy these days and hope ZOA can provide a positive lift in your life. Well, it's more of a thank you than a claim, but let's jump straight into those nutrition facts. There's actually two versions. There's the 100 calorie version and the zero sugar version. This came out on the 1st of March and only the 100 calorie version was available at the time, so I bought that. I have not tried the zero sugar one as of yet. All flavors of the 100 calorie can seem to have the same nutrition facts, there's 0 grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, and 200 milligrams of sodium. The sugar content is pretty high with 23 grams as well as 22 grams of added sugars. So far, the zero sugar version looks to be the better option in terms of facts. But these sugars stem from natural sugars and the natural sweetener stevia. This version is really meant for if flavor is your thing. Just watch your sugar intake throughout the day. First on the label, we have vitamin D. Sunlight is known for providing us with a lot of vitamin D, so there's usually a lack of vitamin D in the winter months when people remain indoors, and I'm pretty sure this past year with people being quarantined and staying indoors, there was an even more lack of vitamin D. This vitamin helps keep your immune system strong, preventing your body from succumbing to a lot of diseases. It's also a great ingredient for overall bone and teeth health. Next we have 100% vitamin C. Vitamin C, which we should all know is very important to our immune health. The source of this vitamin C is from something called Kamu Kamu or Kamu Kamu. Haven't really talked about this ingredient on the channel yet, but Kamu Kamu, I think that's how you say it, contains antioxidants and may be able to help reduce blood pressure and blood sugar levels. Another vitamin C source they added here is acerola. This contains a huge amount of vitamin C and a lot of vitamin A. So if you're lacking in vitamin C, this will make up for it. It also has ties to overall joint health. Next I see here we also have vitamin B6 and B12 which also help prevent your immune system from being compromised and preventing infection. This also helps with your energy and overall brain health. Another notable ingredient here is choline which is an essential ingredient meaning that your body needs it but can't produce much of it on its own so it needs it from an outside source. This will help your acetylcholine levels which will help with your mind and muscle connection and improve memory. Choline also has ties to helping maintain a healthy metabolism and controlling your cholesterol levels. Moving down to this part of the nutrition facts, we see this has some BCAAs. There is 250 milligrams of BCAAs. So obviously this shouldn't be your primary source for BCAAs, but you can add this onto your already BCAA stack that you're using. Doesn't hurt at all that it's in here, even if it's a little. There is 160 milligrams of caffeine. This is natural caffeine coming from unroasted coffee beans and green tea extract. I know stim junkies out there are like, what? What am I going to do with that? And that's not really who this drink is geared toward. More on that in a bit. Lastly, I see here you have turmeric extract. Turmeric actually has a ton of health benefits, such as helping prevent Alzheimer's disease and cancer. 
But turmeric is also a really good antioxidant and some studies show it can really increase your brain health. That's why I like to add turmeric seasoning to my chicken breast and to my ground turkey with black pepper because the body has a difficult time absorbing this ingredient so you use black pepper because it has piperine which increases the absorption rate. So I believe that does it for the notable ingredients and if I've missed something that you thought was important then please just continue to review in the comments. I just wanted to touch on the ingredients that I thought were the more important ones. Now effectiveness. How did ZOA make me feel? Well some people are considering this a pre-workout and they really shouldn't. Uh, this isn't something that will blow your socks off before going to the gym. This is meant for something to really something to really get you through the day. And I don't think a lot of people get that. And it does exactly that. It's a pick-me-up drink for those long productive days. Let's say you're someone that gets up at 6, 6 or 7 in the morning and you don't get to bed until like 11 at night. This is the perfect drink to have in between those times. I did experiment a little just for the giggles and I used this before a workout. And like I said, stem junkies, you won't really get anything out of this unless you're mixing drinks. But if you're someone who takes pre-workout drinks once in a while or energy drinks once in a while, then you may notice a significant energy increase from this. I did experiment by mixing this with a scoop of Escobar, which is another great pre-workout, and I got some pretty good results from it. But yeah, not something that's really gonna push you in the gym by itself. Okay, so how's the taste? I got the original flavor, and the closest thing that I can compare this to would be a Sprite soda. I'm not really a big soda drinker, and like I said, I'm not really a pre-made drink drinker <laughs> like the Red Bull and the Monster Energy drinks but I have tried them before and I can honestly say that I think this tastes a lot better than those in my opinion. I may do an update video after I try all the flavors and let you know what I thought was the best but only if you guys really want to see that. I don't want to waste my cash and my time shooting it if you guys don't really care about that. Anyways me being someone who's not a soda drinker uh, when I first drank this before the workout experiment I think I got up to like right around here, and that's why I say you, that's why I say this is not really something that you should have before a workout. This is something that you should have throughout the course of the day, like if you're going into work or if you're halfway through your shift. This is a good drink to have, but I do think it tastes really good, and that's my opinion on that. I got a 12 pack, which came out to I believe 29.98 free shipping. I purchased it from the ZoaEnergy.com website, but it's also available at GNC. And pretty soon it's gonna be available at a lot of other places like Walmart and some grocery stores. But I ordered it the day it came out, which was March 1st, and it took about a week to get to me. I do think $30 is on the pricier side. It's kind of the more expensive energy drink on the market. But with the ingredients that it touts, it's up to you if you think that it's worth it or not. Uh, especially if your diet is lacking in vitamins that help support your immune health. It's a good option for you. I do think it will be better if it was 20 to $25. But if you're into energy drinks, um, this may be a better option because I don't think Monster or Red Bull have any immune supporting ingredients. But again, that's just my opinion. And how many times have I said this is my opinion in this video? I'm going to try to stop that. I'm just trying to cover my bases. Either way, I had to buy this. If people loved it, I was going to buy it. If people hated it, I was going to buy it. I just love to support The Rock and the things that he does. I just I think he deserves it. Then there are those people that are like, why do you support a guy that will never support you? Why do you defend a guy who doesn't even know you? And I'm not one of those guys. I don't expect The Rock to give a 10-minute meeting to the millions and millions of fans that he has. He inspired me at a really young age, and that's... Really why I show my support. Okay, enough about all that. But yeah, that's my honest thoughts on the Zoa Energy Drink. I'm glad I was able to try it. Uh, I hope I helped you guys decide if you wanted to try it, if you wanted to give it a go. But yeah, I got some energy throughout the day, something to keep me up uh, for work, and that's really all I can ask for from this. I didn't really expect more than that. Nothing too major. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the review, like I said in the beginning of the video, Bench that subscribe button, squat that like button. Check out my home gym equipment reviews. Newcomers, you will enjoy it here. We support each other. Any questions, just leave it in the comments. I usually do pretty good on responding to comments, so just anything you got for me, boom, 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 let me know. Yes, smell -ow. What the solution is cooking. I'm sorry, that was cringe. All right. Once again, this is a call of the solution, saying if you got a problem, I'll help you solve it. Your worst days are done and your best. 
is yet to come.